Hey everyone, I'm Sabrina. My channel is The Hopeful Minimalist. It's a channel that's a safe space for handbag admiration. So if you are a lover of handbags, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. A sincere thank you goes to everyone who has stopped by to watch another video. I truly appreciate you visiting my channel. Today, I have a quick reveal and a quick unboxing to share with you. Tell me you're vacation ready without telling me you're vacation ready. Okay, do you see my vacation hair? Y'all, I am vacation ready, okay? I learned last year that getting braids or some other protective style was the best thing for me to do when it comes to anxiety and stress with traveling. One of the things that I can do going forward every time is get braids. This especially pertains to the hot, muggy, humid climates, the climates where you wanna do um, excursions in the water and it's just hot and uncomfortable. I don't have time to be worrying about frizz and humidity and sweating and trying to stay cute while doing all of the above. So yeah, braids is it for me. So this is how I will look if vacation is coming up for me. I'm still adjusting to it. Um, it doesn't feel as, I don't know, as flexible as my natural hair, but I'm fine with that because no frizz, I can swim, I can sweat, all of that. Anyway, let me get back on topic. Last week I did kind of a reveal of a new purchase from Dress Up Your Purse. I actually got this item during the 40% off sale that Dress Up Your Purse had about a month ago, maybe a little over a month. So I've had it for a minute. You know, I was just getting around to all of those birthday month unboxings and I ended up opening this um, not on camera. So I did a reveal with you last week. So I mentioned in that reveal that I had a charm coming for this bag. I ordered this charm specifically because I wanted something that I could use on multiple handbags. So as you can see, this is the Dress Up Your Purse Mini Boston bag. It's in the color khaki and it has silver hardware. I'm going to flip it over and let you see the charm that I ordered. It's the Louis Vuitton New Wave charm. And the biggest coincidence for me involving this charm is that the handbag housewife actually unveiled this very same charm last week or maybe two weeks ago. Um, I thought that was just the biggest coincidence. Great minds think alike. So I actually went with this particular charm because I wanted a charm that could go with this handbag and could go with any handbags that I have that have the gold tone hardware. Now, I'm not really a charm girl when it comes to the luxury and designer charms. The price is just, I've never been able to quite justify it. So I will get my charms from Haver Deluxe or Amazon. And I've been fine with those for the time being, but I wanted something a little bit dressier to go with this bag to kind of style it up a little bit. This being in the khaki color and just the overall Boston bag style is pretty understated. There's not a lot going on, but it's a quality handbag. So I wanted a charm to kind of bring out um, the best in this bag. And back to what I was saying about the charms being expensive. If I were going to buy a luxury charm, I wanted it to be very cost effective and very inexpensive or as inexpensive as possible. So I picked this charm up off of eBay and I had been looking at it for weeks on the Louis Vuitton website. And I think the price on the website was $4.75. I was kind of going back and forth on whether or not I really wanted to spend $500 on a charm. And the answer was no. This charm has gold, silver, and rose gold all in one charm. So I will be putting this charm on bags like this with silver hardware and bags with gold hardware. This is the only bag that I've tried it on so far, but trust, I will be putting this charm on as many bags as I can. The way that this charm is made, um, 
I will link the Handbag Housewife, her channel and her video. She has a really in-depth explanation of the way this charm is constructed or assembled. Um, there are two different ways that she talked about seeing the charm and I've seen it in the same two ways. So there are charms of the same type which have the flower in front of the LV and then there are kinds like this one where the flower was like put on behind the LV. So this is how this one is actually constructed. I think it actually got flopped around and that's why it was sitting in front because it's really not assembled that way. If I want it to be in front of the LV, I can turn it around, but the LV is going to appear backwards to me. Like if I'm looking at it, it's backwards. It doesn't really matter to me. My main concern was that I wanted hardware that would easily match multiple of my handbags so I didn't have to buy an expensive charm um, for different bags. So I'll put in a picture of the Coach um, T-Rose charm that I had on it before this one. But they're both very beautiful charms and they both go very well with this bag. Before I move on to the unboxing, I want to try the charm on two bags in my collection. First up is the Speedy 20. This was a birthday month bag, FYI. So I have not talked about this one yet on this channel, but here we are. So this is a Speedy 20 with the New Wave charm on it. I think it's really, really pretty. My lighting today is kind of blowing everything out, but I think it accentuates this bag in a very lovely way. Let me try it on the side without the coin purse. Let's see. I think you can see it a little bit better without the coin purse being on there. I think that's really, really pretty. This charm is not in perfect condition. It has some scratches on it that I don't know if they will show up or not, but it's also missing a little bit of color on the rose gold charm. If I flip it over, you can kind of see right here, especially. Isn't it nice when your alarm goes off on your phone or your phone starts ringing in the middle of your video? So I thought I was still recording and I wasn't. So what I missed showing you or filming was trying on the New Wave Charm on one other bag and then the item that I was going to unbox with you, I wasn't able to capture that either. So let me pick up where I left off. All right, this is where I left off with the charm. So I'm standing back a bit because I'm hoping that it will capture the way that the charm looks a little better than it did with the Speedy 20. But this is my Alma VB. And this is another bag that I cannot wait to use the chain with, or the charm, not the chain, the charm. I finagled it a little bit to put the flower in front, but I don't think it will stay that way because it's just not assembled in that order. But it's still cute to me with it behind there. Or again, I can just flip it over like that to put the flower in front. And at least the way I'm looking at it now, it, it's in the right orientation. I think it's super cute on the Alma BB as well. Oh, I can't wait to try this charm on so many other bags because all of my bags are either gold hardware or silver hardware. I have a couple that have like gunmetal, I would be willing to just try this on those even to see how they look. So I'm really, really happy with the charm. All right, so as for the unboxing, really did have a box and all right here. I opened it, but at some point my alarm went off on my cell phone and it disrupted my filming. This is the heart charm that you will typically get with your dress up your purse order. This one has gold hardware, but sometimes they have silver. It just depends. Um, I think they try to match it with the hardware of some of the items that you order, but it may not always match. 
So it's still nice to have. And then this is the item that I ordered. And I think this is a toiletry 15. I wanted the smaller size um, because I want it to give my envelope pouch a rest. This is made of a really soft leather on the exterior and on the interior. Inside there, it's stamped with Melody Cecile, dress up your purse. It's really nice and soft. If I were to show you my bag of the day, which I forgot to do, you already know what I'm using as one of my catch hauls And I wanna give her a break. So far, she's showing like no signs of wear. In my opinion, there's no scuffs. I mean, the glazing is in perfect shape. All of the corners. This is the envelope pouch in the Epsom leather and it's wearing very well for the amount of use that I get out of it. So this is my Pochette Matisse birthday bag. And I really do try to carry this bag um, whenever I can. And I might not always even be matching it, but I really do love it. So that was all I had to share with you all today. I'm sorry for the interruption. I hope you will join me for the next video. I'll see you next time.